SNES DRUNK! A couple days ago, I looked at Super Famicom Wars, a turn-based military strategy game centered around tactical maneuvering developed by Intelligent Systems, a team that's closely affiliated with Nintendo that's worked on everything from Fire Emblem to Tetris Attack to Super Metroid. But unfortunately, Super Famicom Wars was not released outside of Japan, and English speakers didn't get a fan-translated patch until 2018. In the meantime, to get our strategy fix, we had to rely on games like, uh, War 2410 developed by something called Advanced Productions, who developed War 2410, and its sequel, War 3010, The Revolution. Woo lord. The thing is, this game is actually pretty similar to Super Famicom Wars, there's just far less depth to get into. There's a similar user interface where you select your unit on a grid-based map, and move them around to try and find a way to gain an advantage over your opponent, whether it be with the terrain, or your positioning on the map, or just finding a mismatch. There's 20 different missions here laid out on a story-based campaign, so at least that's one thing War 2410 has over Super Famicom Wars. You actually complete each mission as part of a larger narrative. The story starts out in the distant future of 2003, when scientists, presumably while taking a break from watching TRL and playing Flash games on new grounds, first developed a genetically engineered super soldier. Suddenly, we fast forward to the 25th century, and super soldiers have turned against humanity after becoming self-aware. They've split off into three different factions, the Orcs, the Chromes, and MARS, or Mars, and they're fighting against the human race and each other for a world domination. Each side can use infantry, tanks, and eventually air units, and the game even features the same super weapon when you capture a laboratory, just like in the Wars series. Maps can also contain cities where your units can be repaired, and you also have to navigate mountains, deserts, and forests. And that's really the name of the game here, just use the terrain to create mismatches between your units and whatever your opponent has out there. Use the terrain stat in the upper right corner, and the higher the number, the better your defense. Seeking out higher terrain is an easy way to get a higher number, but it'll also decrease your movement. And of course, you also gotta create unit mismatches, and those are pretty obvious, like how infantry pretty much sucks and is only good against other infantry. Light vehicles can take out infantry, tanks can take out light vehicles, artillery is great for long range but hardly has any defense for close range attacks, you get the idea. Like I said, it's similar to Super Famicom Wars, just extremely limited. For one thing, the first several battles don't even allow you to create any units, you just kinda play what's already out there. If you win, you move on, if you lose, it's game over. Thankfully, the game does utilize a password system, so you can skip past these missions if you'd like. There are some positives here. The game's a pretty straightforward tactical game. I mean, hey, at least it doesn't get bogged down on details. But unfortunately, there's a lot of stuff holding back War 2410. For one thing, the graphics here are really primitive. The battle cutscenes here are, uh, lacking, to say the least. And the game is just really, really slow, especially later in the game when you have larger maps to contend with. This game gives off a look and feel to it like it was developed in 1991, not 1996. War 2410 did receive a sequel, War 3010 The Revolution, and it continues the story with the game taking place in space, where you command a fleet and build an armada of ships. It's 16 missions with 3 secret missions you can unlock, and there's a password system, but the core gameplay is mostly the same as War 2410, so it's very limited, but hey, if you like these kinds of games, it might be right up your alley. So yeah, War 2410 is one of those games that just kinda got left in the dust. That's the thing with a lot of these older tactical games. A few years go by and all of a sudden you've got something like Super Famicom Wars, a game that offers similar gameplay but a hundred times more depth. And not only that, but that game does an excellent job explaining the use and function of each unit and each facet of gameplay, whereas War 2410 seriously just throws you out there. There's nothing in the game itself that actually says, hey, this does this. You just have to mess around with it and find out the hard way. And yeah, I know, back then we had the benefit of having instruction manuals to help out, but again, the title of this video is, Is This Game Worth Playing Today? And today, I can't find a manual for this game. Nobody's put a scan of it online. So I'd have to track down a manual on eBay or Amazon, and to be honest, this game didn't show me that it's really worth that kind of effort. War 2410 might have been passable in its day, but playing it now, it's just far too limited, especially when Super Famicom Wars is right there. And I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.